guys welcome to motivational Mondays um, it's a new series that I'm starting for my YouTube channel and you know the one question the one thing I always get from you guys which I love hearing is that my story is so inspiring to you guys and I definitely want to you know continue inspiring you all so I just I thought about this and I decided I'm gonna start this motivational Mondays it will be every first Monday of the month and I'm going to pick a topic and share with you guys uh, something that will hopefully inspire you and make you want to chase your dreams and be a better version of yourself. I think you guys are already all fabulous, but we can all be even more fabulous. Um, you guys know a little bit of my story. I, at 24, living at home with my parents. In a Nigerian household, you don't ever move out. You guys know that. You live with your parents till you die. Or you get married and you move in with your husband. But you don't move out. Um, but I always knew I didn't want to live in Tampa. It, just, it was just not for me. And I wanted to move to Los Angeles or New York. But my parents were steadfast against it. I was never allowed to leave. And I came to LA to visit when I was 24. And I fell in love with LA. I thought it was the greatest city in the world. And I said I was going to stay. So I called my parents and said, I'm not coming back home. I'm staying in LA. And they were like, you don't even have money. Who's going to pay for you to stay? I said, I don't know, I'll figure it out, I'll stay. But I've always been a very risky person. I love taking risks. It's just like, that's what I'm known for. And um, I stayed in LA. I didn't have any, I had no, I was, shel I grew up very sheltered. So I live in, and LA is a jungle. I didn't know where to go, who to meet, how to meet people. But I always knew that things will work out. And I stayed. Fast forward a few years, I got a job at American Apparel. Um, and I loved working there. You guys know American Apparel back in the day was like the place to work. And, um, but I could never make ends meet. I just could never ever get my own place or even rent a room. So I always rent out couches. That was like my thing. No matter what, I would rent out a couch. And <clears throat> one time I gave this to what I believe in taking calculated risk. Like, take risk, but make sure they're calculated. Because there was a time I didn't make a calculated risk. And it was one of the worst things that ever happened to me. I gave this girl first month rent, last month's rent, and a deposit, total of like four thousand dollars, to move into her living room. I came back to, with my stuff in the back of my car, and she had changed the locks on me. Pretty much, she scammed me. I'm Nigerian. I don't know how I got scammed. I'm supposed to be the one that's scamming people, but somehow I got scammed. She scammed me and left for my money. I tried pressing charge. I mean, I tried everything. If my, my money was gone. I didn't know who to call. I couldn't call my parents because they always said, whatever happens to you in Los Angeles, that's on you. You chose to leave. We're not going to help you with anything. So, I didn't really have friends here yet. And everyone's back fighting their own struggles. So, I didn't know who to ask. And the thing about me is that I've never known how to ask for help. It's a problem that I'm working on. But I have such an African pride and my pride just doesn't allow me to ask for help. So I remember just thinking, okay, this is it. I just have to live out of my car. There's no other option. I packed all my stuff. I packed it very, very cute, very well in the back of my truck. And I made a bed sheet in the, in the back seats. And that became my home. I will drive. And sorry, you guys. Every time I talk about this part right here, I do tend to get emotional. Um, but I would drive around after work every single day. Look for a place that I can park my car. That's not too, the light is not too bright, not too dark, just a little bit dim, so I can sleep there and still feel safe. Um, I did that for months, and every month, every day I would get up, I would drive to the gym, down the street, shower, wear a lipstick, because you still gotta look fabulous no matter what, and I'll go to work. Uh, the, the people started figuring out that I was, I didn't have a place that I lived in my car, and they will make fun of me at work and they will be like that girl lives in her car that's the girl that's the African girl that lives in her car and I remember one time talking to one of the girls and I'm like listen in about two years I'm gonna have a fabulous loft and I'm going to have it in all white and it's gonna look perfect you just watch and they will be like yes she's so delusional and I think when you are hungry for success and you want something bad enough there has to be a level of one perfectionism to what you do but delusional you have to be delusional and I I've always known that I didn't live in reality like everyone else 
and I've always dreamt big and I've always been delusional. So even when I was living in my car, I would dream of my place and I would dream of a nicer place and a nicer car and I would just always say, man, I'm going to achieve all of this if I become, I turn 30. And I worked so hard, saved up enough money, was able to get a room, finally after like three years, and then um, slowly from a room to like, you know, another bigger room, another bigger room, and now I have my own place. And also, I blog full time now, which is was always my dream, was to like work for myself. I just I I've never been able to keep a job. <laughs> I always knew that I wanted to work for myself, and I'm incredibly happy and incredibly glad that I I was able to accomplish that. Um, the thing about life is when you get to the point where you become homeless. I mean, I'm not saying everyone should go through that, but when you're that low, it can only get better. I love this quote by Leslie Brown, who's one of my favorite motivational speakers. He always says, when you fall down, try to fall on your back. Because if you can if you can look up, you can get up. Um, and I love that quote because when I was living when I was homeless, that was as low as anyone can be. I mean, not having a place to like sleep at night, that's the lowest you can ever be in life. But I always looked up because I always knew that I can never get here again. I can never be homeless again. So this is a this is a moment in time and it's gonna pass and I actually have that tatted on me, it's called this too shall pass, I live by that and I always knew that if I can just get through that rough patch it can only get better I just hope, I just always want to inspire you guys to chase your dreams and go for it sometimes in life you're gonna have to make very very difficult sacrifices to get there and it's not gonna be easy just so you guys know, I still get broke broke like ramen noodles broke, like I still have days where I'm like well, guess we're not eating today, we just have to eat ramen noodles. But because I have to sacrifice sometimes my own money, my rent money, my work for the, my for my blog, and I know that it's gonna pay off one day. I know that it's gonna only gonna get better. So I hope that you guys chase your dreams. I believe in you guys. I hope you believe in yourself. Whatever dream you have, please, please don't give up on your dreams. Chase them, get up, run after them every single day and just do it you know um, I hope to God that I can always inspire you guys and if you have any questions for me um, I would definitely love to answer them every Monday we're gonna pick a different topic and we're gonna talk about them and I hope each topic inspires you all have a beautiful Monday